Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course you got here just in time. That's right, because it's Friday and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. We actually have a theme this week. We're going to be talking about working remote. That's our theme, working remote. We got about six products we're going to cover. Some of those we're going to just, because you've already seen them. Anyway, let's dive into it. So if you're going to be working remote, the first thing is you got to be able to get remote. Now, I'm a huge believer in redundancies, backups for backups on a lot of things. And one of those is navigation. Now, Trudy Thunder came fully equipped with an onboard navigation system. And that connects through an AT&T modem to cellular networks. And that's, that's a nice luxury to have. Even though Trudy has onboard navigation, I rarely ever use it. Most of the time I'm using my Google Maps. And one of the great things about Google Maps is you can download that to your phone. So if you don't have cell connection, you still have navigation. Now, White Lightning, my F-150 pickup, does not have an onboard navigation system. And I, I bought the truck that way. I didn't, I don't, <laughs> I don't use all the stuff I have on Trudy. I'd never use all the stuff I have on the truck. I turn the radio on, turn the radio off. If I need navigation, I've got it right in the, in my back pocket. But there are times when I'm traveling in the truck or even when I'm traveling in Trudy that I don't have a cellular connection. And if I have failed to download the map to my phone, I'm kind of out of luck. And that's where these first two products come in play. Because we got to be able to get remote. Fail-safe backup that I always have with me is an Atlas. This, this is the Kappa map. Same company that produces... Uh, Mapsco and American Map. There's a lot of, and this is actually 27, 2017. This atlas contains all of North America. It was current in 2017. It's a collector's edition. The reason it's a collector's edition, it has all the national parks. I don't know if you can still buy this. Maybe they have a better one. I'll have a link. I'll add it to the Friday's Finds list. But you really should have a, a good atlas on hand. If all else fails, you can open the book and you got a map. Of course, you need to learn how to read a map. So before we get to that level, though, because this isn't current, I'm really excited. So I was really excited when X Goaty reached out. They asked me if I'd be interested and willing to include their GPS navigation system in a Friday's Finds video. So we're gonna we're gonna unbox it and we're gonna we're gonna take a look. Now this is a an offline GPS system. So you download the current, all the current maps. So you have basically a, a, a screen. Kind of mounting bracket, a power supply. Sucker mount for the windshield. Uh, and a shade. So I'm going to spend a few minutes reviewing the instructions on how to operate this. I'll get it put together and mount it on the windshield or I'll, I'll get it assembled so that it's operational and then we'll, we'll check it out. Our next product or products. So if, if you're working remote, you, you really need to have a, a place to work. And when Yappy and I travel together, she gets the dinette. This is her desk, simply because she, her, her setup's way, way larger than mine with two monitors and, and all of that. And I just have a laptop 
So sometimes I'm sitting in the recliner, uh, but here lately I have found that that's a better place to sit and edit video. Simply because I can get more comfortable. I can lay back. Anyway, that's less before we get we'll check that out in just a moment. One of the challenges in sitting in the cab seats of our F550, same challenge I have when I'm sitting in the F150. Uh, what do I do with the, the laptop? Where do I put the dying computer? And I've, I've shown you this, this tool before, but not in this context. So this is... This is a York desk, and I have come to just love this. It's got a built-in cooling fan with a USB. You can plug it into your computer and keep your laptop cool. It actually includes a little mouse pad, but I never use that because I use a, I'm a trackball guy. So the York desk has so much, so many possibilities. You have gauges, marking indicators, so you can get both sides set exactly the same. We gotta go get in the passenger seat now. So here is is how I set up my York desk when I'm working in the passenger seat there so you can see better so that actually gives me full access I've got plenty of leg room down here I don't have to worry about the computer being so low that once it's over I have a little elevation it's much more comfortable than having the laptop just sitting in my lap. I love this York desk. It works for multiple applications. It can be used as a standing desk. I can set it up on, on, the, on the bed so that I'm comfortable on the bed. I can use it when I'm in the recliner. I just, I love this York desk. It gives me a better workstation no matter whether I'm sitting or standing. You gotta have one of these York desks. But the York desk doesn't work too well when I'm sitting in the driver's seat. So let's talk about that. So when I'm traveling in the F-150 and tent camping in the more remote locations that I, I have the pleasure of visiting, working on the laptop really becomes a challenge because of glare and just finding a comfortable place to sit. I, I ran across a YouTube video where a guy made one of these, but after doing some research, I found that it was more cost effective just to, to buy one on Amazon. So as you can see, I have the laptop parked on the steering wheel. And this thing is just, the, the <laughs> It's so simple, let me show you. So it is basically just a piece of bamboo sheet material. It's like 3 8 inch plywood that has this cut out on it. And that allows it to lock into place just like that. Now, I when I'm traveling in the F-150, I keep this in the, the the pocket on the back seat. And if I'm eating on the road, I actually have a place to set my food so that it's not all over the cab of the truck. It's here in one, one location. But more importantly, I have a place to put the laptop. Just like that. So the little wood desk just fits right there. Move it on! I don't, I don't even know the name of the company that make that. Uh, but I'll, I'll find my order and I'll just, I'll add it to the, the playlist or to the shop. 
I'll add it to the Friday's finds or shopping list. The link will be in the description and in the card above. So it was a really great value. Have it. And I, man, I just, it comes with. Actually has a carrying case. Why? I, I don't know. It's not like you're going to do much damage to that. Move it right along. If, if I'm going to sit and work in the passenger seat, uh, we have found that the seats are a little bit cup-shaped in the F550, so we use a, a cushion. This, this actually, I'll include this in the Friday's finds, but this is actually not part of the, the list. But we find it more comfortable to have that there. Seat here has got a lumbar support. And if you're working, if you're in this seat and you're working and yappy's mentioned this on a couple of occasions when we're driving and she's working there's no lumbar support so your your low back starts to ache we got something for that the good folks at octomo reached out to me and they said hey we want to be on your friday's fine show we have something that yappy's gonna love Optimo sent us here let's take a look this is adjustable lumbar support Des <laughs> the design to for sedentary pretty simple I think it's gonna make my wife happy It's memory foam. It's, ooh, it's uber soft. We've got straps to hold it onto a chair, whether it's your office chair or the motor home seat. Oh, and we can raise it, raise it and lower it. So tall people and short people and then you tighten screw that down and it locks it in place I was wrong you don't screwing does nothing I'm gonna, I'll put it in place and we'll take a look that's a pretty substantial lumbar support. Fortunately, the F550 has lots of leg space. A sideways look at it. Yeah. Not too shabby. That uh, will definitely ease the low back strain when we're sitting here for hours on end. And if you're sitting at a at a office chair, this will be a good good accessory to have for that as well. Yeah, I like it. I think that's a heck of a deal. Our last item to unbox. We have a returning sponsor for Friday's Finds. That's Levin. And Levin has sent us another Bluetooth headset. This is the model FXHSO11 Pro. Now this, I've been having to keep her fight the wife. She's ready to, the wife is ready to take it away from me. I gotta, I gotta do a video first. Yappy spends most of her days at work online, talking to people on the internet. <clears throat> and this is designed for people that spend all day talking to people on the internet in whatever capacity, whether you're getting paid to do it or you're paying to do it. Mm. 
nice and light. I like that. Charging station. And that connects to your USB-C, USB and USB-C. And you're ready, you're ready to deploy. Somebody's making a lot of noise today. Oh no, oh, that's nice. That's in pretty, pretty well, perfect location. Let me read the instruction manual. So the lumbar support documentation says it takes about three days to get used to it. So, so just be prepared. It takes three days for you to get accustomed to sitting on it. Okay. To test the Exodi Zodi. Exodi, Zodi. <laughs> Why do they make them so hard to pronounce? To test this nav offline navigation system, now I've I've selected the truck profile. You can choose a profile, whether it's auto, bus, or truck. And when I'm plugging, I selected a destination, and it now is allowing me to change the parameters height weight width uh, whether we're pulling a trailer or not so we can choose our weight take next left then take next left it even has a nag function if you go over the speed limit it lets you know <laughs> all right so we're gonna we're gonna drive this route and We'll see how it works. Route recalculation. Take next right. Drive 5.6 miles. Not sure how it happens. <laughs> My footage just poop, disappeared. I've I worked with the 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 Bluetooth headset, and and here's here's what I I've had to do it twice. So here's the footage. We are now testing the the Bluetooth headset, the FX Bluetooth headset, on the laptop. As you can see, I've I've connected to the laptop. It was pretty simple. I just plugged in the little dongle here then went down into the system menu and found Bluetooth. And then as soon as I turned on the headset, it automatically went into pairing mode. And I just had to find it here. We're showing a 100% battery. And it works. Uh, very, very pleased with how it rides on my head. Usually when I'm working on the computer, I'm wearing this. And I am pretty much just have one ear. So this actually works out better in some ways than the corded headset. Now, we're back in the outdoor studio. We're gonna finish this video right here, right outside. I like this little headset. This this works out great on my computer. So, and I'll be able to take that on the go with me. Cause after all, this is the working remote edition of Friday's Finds. So if you're gonna be working remote, what better way than to have a wireless Bluetooth headset for your communication needs. And I worked with the GPS system as well. Well, this is not so much. It's, it, it's good. 
What am I trying to say here? I think this GPS navigation system is a fantastic piece of equipment for the investment. Just like having the Atlas book as a backup, that's what this will be for us. Now, if you have, if you're planning on going someplace remote, your cell phone may not have a signal there. This is this does not require access to the internet or anything. I mean, it's, it's all right there. I found it to be simple to use, pretty accurate. Uh, it does tend to nag at you like most of your uh, navigation <laughs> platforms do. Uh, your HDD must be limit. I was not able to actually pull up my address, which is not unusual. The This address was put into the 911 system about four years ago, so it, it will not show up in a lot of your map programs. The street out front was, I was, I was able to find that in the, the, the menu, but not the actual physical address. So just like with all mapping systems, it's not a, it's not 100% foolproof. For the price point, it's a heck of a value. I mean, you could you could just buy that. You could stick that in your glove box. And when you if you find yourself in need of navigation, you've got it. And if you don't want to mess with one of those expensive navigation systems, because they can be complex and, and a lot of them require monthly subscriptions and yada, yada, yada. This is a one-time investment. They will update it if it's not current. So I'm a, I'm a fan of the GPS navigation system. Thumbs up. We have seen how I work remote in the cab of the motor home sitting in the f-150 we've we found something to relieve some of the strain on the back while we're sitting in that chair this is this has been a really good edition of working remote this has been a great edition of the of friday's finds the working remote edition of friday's finds these products are all as i mentioned as i mentioned before they're all available on amazon and i will provide you with a link in the card and in the description that link will take you to the friday's finds shopping list on the dude rv gear recommendation page on amazon if this is your first visit to dude rv and thank you for stopping by by the way thank you for stopping by if this is your first visit i'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button and for those of you who have been following along Thank you. I sure appreciate it. And for my patrons, I'm most grateful. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?